Hello, I'm Kalon Zombie, and today I have a very special guest with me. Say hello, special guest. I'm Skippy Granola. Wait a minute, am I the evil one, or...? No, you're the good one. We're playing if... <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Infamous Second Son. Uh, Infamous is a game series famous for having a dual choice where you can be a hero or a villain. And I'm a crazy person who's doing two separate runs to show you the differences between good and evil. And this is going to be the good version of the videos um, with Skippy. Uh, This first video is actually going to be using mostly the same footage for both runs. (laughs) So, if you're worried that you are just going to be watching the same thing, but with two different guests, just go ahead and skip to pretty much near the end. That's if you're bothering to watch both versions anyway. If you're just watching the good versions, whatever. Just base it on who you like better, Bob and Threadbear, or where you sit morally. Good. (laughs) Anyway, this game's very pretty. Uh, It's... Not a launch title, but a near launch title for the PlayStation 4. And it is fucking gorgeous. I think it has some of the best faces, if not the best faces, in video games. Well, it's Sucker Punch. I mean, they do good work. Oh, yeah. I recently played uh, Crash Bandicoot 1 for the first time. And for a PlayStation 2 game, that is fantastic looking. Was Crash Bandicoot 1 not for the PS1? No, it was for the PS2. Holy I think it was their first game for the PS2. Shit. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, where whereabouts are we in time after, uh, what's his name, Cole, uh, saved the world in Infamous 1? Uh, this is seven years later. So if you hold your controller sideways like a spray paint can, and then shake it like a spray paint can... You can use it like a spray paint can. What? Come on. Are you sure this isn't a, uh, a wireless title? Because, I mean, that is that is some bullshit six-axis <laughs> shoehorning. Actually, this is uh, this is not six-axis, and this is and, uh, spray paint stuff is pretty much the only time you need to use motion control stuff, and it actually works pretty well. I mean, it, it, it seems probably better than... Um... <laughs> wait, just wait, it gets better. Whoa! Do multiple layers. <laughs> That's some good stenciling, bro. Yeah, yeah. Our main character is really good at uh, at being a little shit heel and way tagging to go, things. Banksy. So we're not playing as Cole in this, then, I take it. No, Cole's dead. Canonically, Cole died saving the world. Okay. The good endings in Infamous 2 are the canonical endings. Damn it. I can think, Delson, think. Party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. Yeah, nobody will ever catch me doing my... Wait a minute, I thought this was the good playthrough. This seems like mischief. (laughs) (laughs) You know, Infamous, it takes a little while for them to actually get to the good evil stuff. Oh, we need to find some stakes. Who's out there? Anyway, this is Betty. Betty's awesome. I love you, Betty. Betty. Would you put the stapler down? Seriously. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel all that Akomish. Um, by the way, the Akomish are not a real Native American tribe. They are made up specifically for this game, so that way they did not offend anybody. Oh, fair enough. So where where's this game set? I mean, it looks like the Pacific Northwest based on the totem poles. Um, I will say this. Seattle is within driving distance. Okay. All right. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes. And if you are still here... And it is actually Seattle and not, like, some fake Seattle lookalike. This is the last time. Like in the last two games where it was just basically not New York and not... Oh, God. The other place. Still water. Yeah. <laughs> of course, exactly. <laughs> anyway, we can't go out the front door because the front door is where the cop is. Come on, criminal mastermind, run! <laughs> Beat your feet! 
Hello, freedom. Yeah, that's right. I totally tagged that billboard. Now the easy part. <laughs> Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. All right, so this is the climbing tutorial. It'll tell you how to do your crazy parkour shit. Oh, yeah, that's a staple of the infamous series. It is. And here you can see it's not the only thing that uh, Delson's tagged. Oh, Delson's really good. He is. He's really good at this. Um, there's one around oh, here that I miss. Uh, he tagged a crashed rowboat, it looks like. He put a mermaid on it. Nice. Yeah, I forgot to look at that one. Well, there you go. Oh, and Delson, Delson cannot swim, much like any of the other infamous protagonists, a.k.a. Cole, because he's been the only one so far. So that's something that uh, Altair has on these guys. Mm-hmm. No, I know, Altair couldn't swim either. That's right. It was Ezio. Ezio! Yeah, Altair could, couldn't swim, so there you he go. He sank like a rock. Yeah, you just kind of went bloop, and then you desynchronize. But we're not here to talk <laughs> about that inferior series that's gone on for too long. We're here to talk about this young Akomish lad. Man, how old was I when I tagged that? It's a turtle! Nice! And this is very pretty. Look at that lighthouse. So yeah, this is an area that's literally impossible to die in, I think. Um... It's basically here to teach you how to climb and stuff. You use square to drop down onto lower ledges, and you can jump pretty high distances, and then sometimes Delson doesn't go where you want him to. Much like Ezio. <laughs> <laughs> it's good most of the time, but climbing without your powers... Spoilers, we're going to be getting powers. Climbing without them is a, is a little bit wonky sometimes time to go establish an alibi yep and that arrow right up there that's uh that's the playstation 4's touchpad stuff you just slide your finger across it and then he opens the door and it immediately gets caught by the cops oops how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own Mm-hmm. Stop arresting your brother over and over and over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. There's one thing I really love in this game, and is that characters will actually interrupt each other, like in real life, during conversations. Yeah, there's some reasonably good acting in this. Really? Because I don't seem to get... Well, that's what happens when you get Troy Baker to voice Delson. Of course! Troy Baker's just the greatest. What a handsome, talented guy. Mm-hmm. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. I'm so sarcastic. <laughs> just call me Pacific Banksy. <laughs> We're gonna walk right up to it, but that's because look, there's a guy in trouble. You're gonna fat guy jog up to it, is what you're gonna do. That's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Just like, whoo, whoo, oh boy! I took three steps and I am winded. Whew. Oh man, goodness! Should not have had that second sandwich. If my second sandwich. <laughs> Your hands where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Fresh. I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Just to clarify, this is not fire, this is smoke. Yeah, that's one thing that was super confusing about the whole conduit thing. It gets really bad in this one. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, 
you are partially in control of Delson right here. But no matter what button you push, he always does the same stuff. The hell oh. <laughs> All right. Hell? You can push backwards, side to side, X, to triangle, doesn't matter. God, no. You will always go out of control almost right over the edge. Stop it, stop it, stop it. What's going on? I actually kind of like the sequence because it shows that he really does not have any idea about how to control his powers. It's actually really cool to me, you know, sort of subverting the expectation of player control. Yeah. So that dash move can get you through certain objects. Not all of them, like, it definitely can't get you through concrete walls, but certain things. Anything, some might say, permeable to smoke. Hmm. Red? You okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Okay. Okay, just... Just help me push! Another thing that I really like about this game oh, is the oh, no. interactions between Delson and Reggie. Because... Remember, not five minutes ago, they were fighting and Reggie was arresting him. And now his brother is in trouble. He needs comfort. Of course. You gotta take care of your little bro. No. No. You were my brother. All right? You were my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? And even though I said this has the best faces in video games, well, pretty much, uh, I still find the teeth really weird. They're too perfect. <laughs> They're too good. Yeah, animators are generally not good at doing fucked up teeth. Yeah. Or even just slightly imperfect teeth. Well, I mean, you're barely ever going to see teeth anyway, so... Which is fine, until you get the uh, tooth power set. Mm. Then, oh god... Just skip that series of videos. Hey, hey. I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing. Okay? Because it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? There's only one way to find out. So you just push circle, and you can do that little dash move that turns you into smoke. Oh no! Bioterrorist. Wait, no! Come back! Come back, guys! Don't tell the tribe! See if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist. But don't tell the popo. The popo literally already knows. He's right there. Yeah. My bro is the popo. Alright, so with this uh, smoke dash move, you can go through certain vents and travel straight up buildings. Cool! Vents. Good to know. So let's do it on this one, and... Oh, shit! Oh, man. The movement in this game feels so good. Wow. It does. Also, there's no fall damage. In no infamous game is there any fall damage. Thank God. Well, of course, because Cole's a lightning wizard and you're a smoke witch. <laughs> so now we have our melee weapon with... It's the chain. You just hit square and you do melee attacks. <laughs> Just, you got a chain, like this is road rash. <laughs> Almost there, Betty! You gotta get out of here, lady! Stay away from I'm me! I'm trying to help no, you, lady! Stay away from me! Stop! Nelson! I was just trying to create a diversion! I didn't know anybody was in you here! You did this to me! You're a conduit? Uh... Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now! Good, I'm gone! Not until you fix this first! So, it's a little unclear at first, but Delson's powers are basically he leeches off other powers. He's basically rogue, but he doesn't actually kill people he steals powers from, and also it's permanent. Oh. So, you just touch another conduit and you absorb his power. 
Wars? Um, it specifically has to be on the hand, I've realized, watching this game. But yes, because if you noticed, uh, he and Hank touch each other quite a bit in their first meeting, but it wasn't until Delson grabbed his hand oh, that okay. he absorbed the powers. Yeah. That also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. So I made sure to shit as stinky as I could. <laughs> They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But it I prefer pop quiz. <laughs> Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. In quotations, even. That's how you know it's the real deal. That's right. He was he was quoting uh, Edgar Allan Poe. I saw you. Mm-hmm. Poking around inside my head. It was me. I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! He's not a bad guy. Until you fix this! So now you have to fight Hank, and all you have is your melee weapon, and he has ranged capabilities, which you would think that would make this an unfair fight, but he really doesn't use them all that much. It's because he doesn't want to hurt you because he's fundamentally a good guy. And at this point, Delson's just a goddamn rage beast. At least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. There you be coming. Yeah, plus it's like the tutorial thing. Um, I don't know if you can actually die here to him. I think you can. But you have to be really trying. It would be very embarrassing if you did. Yes. Yeah, well... Also, Dash is nice and has relatively good lock-on abilities if you're trying to fight somebody. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Listen, just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute. Stop it. Talk about this. What? That's crazy. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. <laughs> Good job being nonchalant, buddy. Or the bioterrorist. Yeah. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. Because you're looking at me with your creepy PS4 eyes, lady. In my experience, there are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Or they're faced with a sexually aggressive government agent. You take a big step back there, lady, or what? Delson just admitted that he is into hot moms. <laughs> Oh, Tom. Um, share. Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? I think the most impressive things about the faces are the like the wrinkles around the lips, how they appear and disappear, like how they do in real life. Yeah, that's a really good point. Like, I really don't know how they did this. This is so good looking. Yeah, that's that's a really good point. It does almost look like skin. Whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? That's kind of funny because aren't you a bioterrorist too? That was a stupid thing to say, Delson. God damn it, Delson. Okay. okay. Yes. 
Really, he witnessed that, you know, attack, and so forth. Why didn't they pack his ass off to Guantanamo Bay? <laughs> Why didn't they take him off to Dupe headquarters? Because I think they technically don't have... Oh, well, I think she's sort of proving me wrong here. There you go. I think they have full control over civilian stuff. I think they have to have reasonable cause. Oh, they can they can suspend your rights. See? Look at that! Yep. She just stoned him. I'm told that hurts. Maybe I know what happened to you there. No, no, Betty, no. Really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the next, until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? So this is the first choice in an infamous game, and you have the good and the evil. And we're, of course, doing the good. All right, we're gonna turn ourselves in to save Betty. My boy! First step to becoming a hero. Getting yourself sent off to Gitmo. <laughs> what? I said... I'm a conduit, alright? I caught it a second ago from... from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Tell him. Ah! So, Betty... Maybe you can give me a straight answer. Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Ooh, she's cold as ice. Oh, yeah. She's a great villain. Way to go, Protector Kalon.